In this episode, we ask the question, how can electricity correct a telescope in outer space? Hey, Josh Bernstein here. Ever wondered how stuff on Earth gets tested before it gets sent up into space? How can engineers solve problems for equipment that needs to survive the 350-mile trip straight up? To find out, I've come to the Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory's facilities in Cambridge, Massachusetts. This 7,000-square-foot assembly lab houses equipment being tested to work in space. This is going to be fun. I like they were wearing gowns. I've arranged to meet postdoctoral fellow Ryan Allured at the Cambridge Discovery Park complex. Uh, come over this way to the, uh, to the slumping oven. The slumping oven? The slumping oven. OK. Uh, and meet Vincenzo Cochineo, who's a research Hi. scientist nice here. Nice to meet you. Ryan and his colleague Vincenzo are planning and carrying out an investigation with optics, or mirrors that will be used on a space telescope. First step, they create and shape the glass. So here we start from a flat glass. This is a, a normal LCD screen uh, display glass, mm -hmm. and uh, we want to shape it uh, into something that is close to the final shape of our optics. These uh, heat uh, to about uh, 1400 uh, Fahrenheit, and at this temperature the glass gets soft and they start bending uh, under its own gravity. You put it in the oven, mm -hmm. how long? <laughs> it takes uh, three, four days, one week, according to the uh, thermal cycle. We want to go very slow. The glass starts out flat, it goes on the mandrel into the oven, 1400 degrees, three or four days, and it comes out looking like this. Yes, that's the recipe. Awesome, that's a good recipe, I like it. The glass panels that Vincenzo creates will play a critical role in an X-ray telescope they're hoping to launch into space in the next 20 years. Okay, come this way. Okay. All right, at the previous station, we had left off with something kind of like this, a curved piece of bare glass. Yeah. Uh, then once we have this curved piece of bare glass, we need to make it both reflective and adjustable. That's all done uh, by our colleagues at Penn State University, and they're the ones that put the reflective coating on the front and then the uh, adjustable uh, material on the back. The size of these mirrored panels is much smaller and thinner than typically used for space telescopes. Because they're so thin and light, there's a concern that they might shift a little during transport to space, as the vibrations of launch and the zero-gravity environment of space could jostle them and push them slightly out of alignment. To correct them, the mirrors have a special coating applied to the back. They also, uh, on the back, deposit uh, the, the actuation electronics. And the key there is that <clears throat> this is an electrostrictive material, so that when you apply voltage, it wants to crunch up and it will distort the surface of the mirror. The coating uh, is the electrorestrictive material? Exactly. So the glass doesn't move, it's right. the coating that moves. Yeah, yeah. The X-ray telescope will consist of modules that contain roughly 250 cylindrical mirror shells. Each mirror will have a piezoelectric coating with electrodes on the back. When an electric current is run through the electrodes, the coating contracts, changing the shape of the mirror's surface and adjusting the angle of the X-rays, thereby correcting the telescope's performance. There's a tremendous amount of calibration and testing sure. uh, and retesting that happens on the ground to make sure that we really understand how it's going to perform uh, so that nothing goes wrong once we're in space. Because once it's in space, you can't manipulate yeah. it beyond. We, we can't just bring it back down and right. then, you know, tweak it and send it back up. So we've only got one shot, so yeah. it's got to work. By systematically testing these mirrors, engineers like Ryan can analyze how these mirrors react to different conditions, define potential problems, and design solutions for the challenges likely to occur. If this or when this goes into space, this will be the first telescope that allows you to manipulate the x-rays hitting the focal point. Yes, that's true. That's fantastic. Yep, I think so. Wow. Ryan, thank you. Yep. As for our original question, how can electricity correct a telescope in outer space? That answer is clear. An electrical current applied to a telescope's optical coating actually moves the surface enough to recalibrate the mirror, bringing it back into focus. As a result, Ryan and his colleagues can rest assured that their pioneering mirrors will safely make it to space and capture the images they seek.